Potions and elixirs in Baldur's Gate are some of the strongest buffs you can get in the entire game. Yet, unfortunately for anyone aiming to be an alchemist, will find a bit of trouble. Not all recipes are available online, and many are currently bugged to where the recipes won't pop up for you until you make the items. Which means, that's where I, and this video, come in to be of assistance. If you want to help my bar, you can like the video, as one like on the video will get it to legitimately hundreds more people who might find it useful. With that out of the way, let's begin with the best drinks in all of Faerun. For our first drink, we've got one that you can have early on, yet it never becomes less effective. Behold, the Elixir of the Colossus. This drink will give you the benefits of an enlarged person spell until the next time you long rest. This means that you gain advantage on strength checks, a 25% boost to what you can carry and throw, and a 1d4 bonus to melee damage. Now, it doesn't end there, because I've done some testing. It stacks with enlarged person the actual spell itself. Here's my half-orc before drinking the potion, and then after. He gets to be quite the big boy, but in combination with the spell, it's an even bigger boy. This works extremely well with druids. A great man once said that every story needs a large dragon. And I take a different stance. Every story needs an owlbear as large as a dragon. Now, in order to make this, you need the following items on your screen now. Most of these can be found by speaking with merchants, or by looting abandoned shops that have been destroyed by the local troublemakers in each and every act. Next up, ever wanted three actions in a single turn? Yes, you heard me right, three full actions. Well, in that case, we're going to need to use a mixed drink. Not quite vodka and fireball, but an even stronger combination. We'll be using a potion of haste and a potion of bloodlust. After you drink these, you'll have two actions every turn, except when you kill an enemy. After you do so, you will instantly gain an extra action once per turn, meaning you can cast an extra spell, or perhaps make another attack action, meaning if your level 12 fighter who action searches after they kill an enemy, you can attack a total of 12 times in that turn. Meanwhile, if you're a sorcerer, you can cast Fireball four times in a row in one turn. Now, if you'd prefer to not use a potion of haste, you can do this combination by simply using the spell of the same name. Meanwhile, for crafting each potion, you can see them on your screen now. For our third brew, we have one with such power that I'm considering banning it for future games with my friends. The Potion of Angelic Slumber is an extremely rare potion, yet one that is perhaps the strongest of any bar's menu. Drinking it induces two rounds of sleeping that upon waking up grants you the benefits of a long rest. Now besides being the perfect concoction, for hangovers, this has obvious help towards spellcasters who will regenerate their full host of spell slots. This means if you're a sorcerer, perhaps, who would like to maximize their spell slots before a fight, you can do something unbelievably strong. By turning all of your spell slots into sorcery points, you can then take a sip of this potion, and after a couple turns or a few seconds out of combat, you'll awaken with full spell slots while retaining all of your sorcery points. Anyone who calls sorcerers weak must simply not be good at holding their liquor. Now, for those who are wanting to craft this potion, you'll want to look at what's on the screen right now. For reference, it's going to be hard to find the feather, but in Act 2 and 3, you'll find it popping up in shops, as well as the inventories of defeated enemies at higher levels. Next up, we have the Elixir of Heroism. This drink gives you 10 temporary HP, and gives you Bless, which adds a 1d4 to your attacks and saves. What's such a good thing about this elixir is that it's the earliest elixir that you can get your hands on in the game. Not only this, but it's a free Bless spell on yourself. 
Bless is a concentration spell, which are some of the strongest types of spells in the game. Being forced to concentrate on the spell is a nerf to the spell's effectiveness, yet this elixir doesn't require your concentration, making it invaluable in any difficult fight. If you're a sharpshooter or great weapon master user, I'd recommend this potion wholeheartedly to reduce the negatives of those feats. To buy it, most merchants should have one available for the right price, and to make it, the materials are on your screen right now. For our last potion, I'll be brief on how to get it as to not spoil anything. There's a place called Moonrise Towers. You'll want to get inside this place in Act 2 without bloodshed. There, you'll find a drow who will want to take your blood for scientific purposes. You can let her if you wish, and you'll get an interesting potion that changes depending on your race, but that's not the highlight of what she does, as you'll want to bring Asterion here. Let her take his blood, and you'll get a potion of everlasting vigor. Letting her take yours or Asterion's blood won't hurt you. Now, it might slightly harm his relationship with you, but I assure you it's not by much. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? You ought to know what the dang potion does. Drinking this potion grants you a bonus of two to your strength score. Now, how long does this effect last? Forever. Yes, you heard me right. Be it respecting, resting, or even dying. This effect will never go away making it for strength characters, or even druids, since yes, it applies to even your wild shapes, the strongest potion in the entire game, for free. But I think we all can agree that the truly best right and proper drink can only be found here, at my dear old McLeifs. It's your guess as to what it is. Oh, come now, don't joke with me. You're obviously thinking, of the McLeod Special. Like, comment, and subscribe for free McLeod Specials on the weekly, but also be sure to check out my drinking menu. I hope you find something that you enjoy.